welcome my dear students this is vidya shankar of vidya shankar learning center you know past from 35 years our center is known for its innovative and research style of teaching to high school students thousands of students enjoyed the beauty of learning and well placed in the society at different parts of the world even being the teacher who always enjoy teaching and always wants to be with you all for ever at all time at your places at your wish and with all your parents friends and relatives even i got force from the sons and daughters of our alumni students who have spread all over the world to reach even those students this is my humble attempt to spread the beauty of mathematics even to the mathematics aversion students and to create interest in them and to show learning of mathematics has joy in this video sample i am talking about the theorems of geometry theorem means a mathematical proposition which can be proved logically mathematical proposition means it is a statement having two sentences first sentence and which is called hypothesis second sentence that is called as conclusion this hypothesis and conclusion are linked by a logical connective if then hypothesis means what is to be assumed conclusion means what is to be proved let us take some examples of theorem very first theorem of geometry is if a ray stands on a straight line then sum of the adjacent angles formed is 180 degree in this statement sentence which come after if that is a ray standing on a line is hypothesis then a sentence which come after then that is sum of the adjacent angle formed is 180 degree is conclusion another example if a transversal line cuts two parallel lines then alternate angles are equal in this statement a transversal line cuts two parallel line is hypothesis alternate angles are equal is conclusion i am taking third example if a line is drawn parallel to any side of a triangle then it divides other two sides proportionally here a line is drawn parallel to any side of a triangle is hypothesis then it divides other two sides proportionally is conclusion hypothesis means what is to be assumed conclusion means what is to be proved now let us talk about the different steps involved in proving a theorem very first step is identification of hypothesis and conclusion which is very easy because the sentence which come after if is hypothesis and sentence which come after then is conclusion second step is diagram diagram means pictorial representation of hypothesis every hypothesis gives you one picture the same picture you have to draw in first example a ray standing on a straight line is the picture that you get from that sentence so you have to draw a ray which is standing on a straight line in the second example if a transversal line cuts two parallel line this is hypothesis you will get a picture of a straight a transversal line cutting two parallel lines you have to draw that picture diagram then in the third example if a line is drawn parallel to any side of a triangle that is the picture you got 
therefore you have to draw the same picture that is uh, a line drawn parallel to any side of a triangle next step is data data means description of the diagram drawn what diagram that you have drawn to any particular theorem you have to describe what you have drawn in data then to prove is conclusion part of the theorem written with respect to the diagram in the first case sum of the adjacent angle formed is 180 degree is conclusion in the second case alternate angles are equal is the uh, conclusion part then in the third example it divides other two sides proportionally construction if requires it may require for some th uh, theorem and it may not require for some other theorems and the last step and a beautiful step present in the geometrical theorem is the proof a proof here is going from known to unknown that means all known things what you have learnt in the previous classes are put in a psychological order to reach the unknown fact this is the beauty of the geometrical theorems dear students we will prove one by one all theorems present in high school standard and you will definitely enjoy the beauty of learning geometrical theorems in next video sure. for more and more enjoyment subscribe my channel and enjoy mathematics your valuable suggestions and topics to be needed for you are welcome in the comments we are planning to cover mathematics of lower classes of the entire world hope this will help to all students community teachers community to adopt in their classroom and also to the parents who are taking care of their children's education in their houses